back all those times. Cry. <laughs> I would say a typical love at first sight. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Sally and Mackenzie Mitchell say they are just like any couple in Saskatoon, <laughs> going so far as to describe themselves as boring even on the most romantic yeah. day of the year. <laughs> Valentine's Our first day. Valentine's Day, we got each other a worm composter. That was so exciting. That was mm-hmm. a big expense that we both really wanted to get. This is so lame, I'm sorry. That's We're the most boring couple in the world. What did we do last Even year? if their lives together are run of the mill, the love Mackenzie and Sally have for each other is as strong as that of any couple you're likely to find. After meeting two years ago, they quickly became engaged and were married in a ceremony at Saskatoon's Roxy Theater last August. We had just tons of friends and family come and support, and it was just. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. Instead of doing the standard. Like, if you have any objections or see why these people shouldn't be married, he did the opposite of that and said, if you, like, love and support these people and want to see them together and happy, like, make some noise. And just the sound of, like, 250 people just losing their minds. And then here's our wedding cake topper that we had to make ourselves because nobody, believe it or not, nobody made two girls. While same-sex couples still struggle for equality in many facets of life, one of the most impressive things about this relationship is the fact that most other people now seem to also be viewing Sally and Mackenzie as, well, ordinary. Nobody really like looks twice for walking down the street holding hands. No, everybody looks twice, but not in a bad way. <laughs> no, young people don't look twice, yeah. is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that this next generation is just like, pff, whatever. Like They're totally comfortable with all the different types of diversity that we have now in the city. I think Saskatoon's very progressive in that way. The couple decided early on they wanted to have children, and thanks to a donor, Mackenzie is now pregnant. Their child, who is due in three months, will join their other daughter, Abby, whom Sally had during a previous relationship. And our, our other daughter is just so excited to be a big sister. Yeah. She just comes and like rubs my tummy. Bee, bee, bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you were incredibly blessed that we're having another child and that that's possible and because I think about women in our situation like even a decade ago and how very rare that would have been. The couple realizes there is still a stigma attached to same-sex parents but hopes those attitudes are shifting as well. And it's obvious to anyone who spends time with these two that their children will be brought up in an incredibly loving household. Love at first sight. Love at first sight. It's a real thing. The Beatles ask if you believe in it. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that one day just... Oh, you just... You had me. Pfft, like, turned my whole life upside down. Completely. There you were. For Shaw TV's Valentine's Day special in Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt. <laughs>